Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and went through Tartarus. We did mostly some tutorials, but, you know, we still had some fun battling. We got a new Persona in Apsaris. And in this episode, now that we're all exhausted from our expedition, we're going to just head back home. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, continue on with our school life. Not bad. Excellent work. I have high hopes for our future expeditions. The Dark Hour will be ending soon. See, so yeah, once you leave Tartarus, it goes on to the next day. Salut. And some of the chests get refilled. Let's finish up here. Does that sound good to you? Let's call it quits. Alright, rest up and come prepared for our next expedition. Yo! Hey, you're in 2F, right? What's with the weird look in your eyes? I'm Kenji Tomachika. We're in the same class. Uh, morning. Uh, yo. Yeah, you too. I heard from Iori that you're pretty close with Takepa-san. Is that true? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm looking for someone with a little more experience anyway. Aw, oh, crap. It's almost time for the morning assembly. Come on, we better hurry. the main portion of today's assembly. Next, we'll hear a word from the student council. Please welcome the new president, Mitsuru Kirijo, from Class 3D. Thank you. So she did get elected. Well, I guess she is the most popular girl in school. You can say that again. She's got this intimidating vibe around her. Not to mention, this school's owned by the Carrillo Group, right? As I begin my term as student council president, I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year. It is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school. However, change cannot occur without sustained effort and an unprecedented level of commitment. That is why we must restructure our daily lives in order to rise to this challenge. I'd like each of you to dig deeply into your well of motivation and reevaluate your convictions. Strive to imagine a bold new future without losing sight of the realities around you. That is the key. My own ideas are but one person's vision. For us to reap the full benefits of our education, your participation, opinions, and enthusiasm are essential. Thank you. Dang. What a speech. Do you, uh, have any idea what she just said? Sort of. Sure didn't sound like something a high schooler would say. If it was anyone else, we'd be laughing our asses off. All right, today we'll be looking at some Meiji era literature. Open your textbooks to page 12. You know what, I'm sick of the story. I already went over it last class. I've got a great poem we can discuss instead. Close your textbooks, everyone, and listen to this. Isolated cloud suspended over the tall, snowy mountain peak. I'm feeling sleepy. Should I close my eyes for a few minutes? No, let's stay awake. Hey, Tomochika, you better not be sleeping back there. You should be ashamed of yourself napping while I pour my heart into reading this. You're getting another essay on top of the regular assignment tonight. I expect a slice of cake when you turn it in, too. And don't cheap out with the store-bought stuff like last time. I force myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. Want to stop by Paulonia Mall on the way back? Might want to stock up while we can, since we got stuff going on at night. There's a pharmacy there, too. Couldn't hurt to get some meds in case anything happens. You seem really into this. You bet I am. If we don't step up to the plate, who will? The chairman said it himself. The fate of the world depends on us. Let's go, leader. First task, escape from the school. Have 
you noticed how popular Sonata-san is with the ladies? Man, take a look at that. I guess neither of us really got to know him before all this crazy stuff happened. He's a captain of the boxing team. Never lost a single match. I know that's cool and all, but who'd have thought boxing would turn you into a chick man? I mean, come on! They're fawning on him more than a harem manga. I wonder where they're going. Hey, are you guys free this afternoon? Huh? Uh, us? Yeah, I mean, hell yeah! We love to join your little, uh, group here. What about the fate of the world? Ah, don't be lame. Even heroes need some rest now and then, you know? Well, are you free or not? Yeah, of course. No problemo. I want the two of you to meet me at Polonia Mall. You know where it is, right? I'll be waiting at the police station. Got it? D the police station? You mean, we're not hanging out with your friends? Who? These girls? No, I don't even know their names. Hearing so much chit-chat gives me a headache. Anyway, I'm going on ahead. Don't keep me waiting. Can he not know their names? I mean, seriously, just look at them. Uh, anyway, let's go. Sonata asked, Sonata asked us to meet him at the Polonia Mall police station. Junpei and I decided to head over. Yeah. Well, I was just he headed there myself. You know the place, right? Let's go. I'm waiting for my boyfriend. We're going to Hagakure. I absolutely love Junpei, man. He's the absolute best. It it's so weird because typically I don't really like uh, like best friend characters in these types of games. Like usually I think they're loud and annoying and obnoxious, but for some reason I really like Junpei. I'm not sure why. Persona 3 probably has like my favorite cast out of all of the. Persona games. I don't know, they're just all really likable to me. You know how every school has at least one mystery that no one can solve? There's one here too, you know. Like the sculpture in the art room that moves by itself. It sounded cooler in my head. Pretty sure there was something like that in uh, Persona 2. Ah. The phonic student continues to sigh, and she's gazing over at... I have a strange feeling that someone's watching me. Maybe it's just my imagination. We'll keep an eye on those people, and we'll see what happens to them later. Uh, two new locations we can go to. We can go to Polonia Mall, which is something that we've, which is a place we've kind of already gone to. There's also Naganaki Shrine. Let's just run by there real quick and see what's up there. Uh, not much to be honest, although there is a lot of stuff that can happen later. We have the shrine here, which we can pray to, which there's a game mechanic to that in a little bit. Uh, there's the fortune, which I think can help boost your social links, which we'll once again get to later. And then... The Yo, apparently you can sometimes hear strange voices here sometimes. I could kind of see it. Just look at this place. I wouldn't be surprised if an Inari fox popped up. I don't know what you're talking about, Junpei. That'd be super weird if a fox just suddenly showed up. Anyways... Totally not referencing something else. Let's head over to Polonia Mall. Oh my, how did I forget to buy shampoo? No rush, just wait for the sale. Isn't Saturday the s sale day at Aohige Pharmacy? Hello, young man. Say, have you heard anything about those mysterious cases of ordinary healthy people ch changing overnight? I have. Guess that shouldn't be a surprise. It's all over TV. Yeah, everywhere you look, you see young couples. Well, what are you waiting for? Go after someone. You're still young. You got no excuse not to be together with some girl. You here for the arcade? You want to know about the games? I could tell you all about them. Ah, uh, sure, go ahead. 
But then you can play either House of the Deceased or Real Wheel Racer. House of the Deceased is pretty scary. You'd increase your courage if you can stand it. Real Wheel Racer requires nimble finger work, so it increases your agility. That about covers it. So there actually is uh, quite a lot of stuff to do at Poldonia Mall that we can't really do right now, but I'll just quickly explain it anyway. Um, game Parade, known as Game Panic in the original versions of the game, is an arcade that can help you boost your social stats as well as some uh, actual stats when it comes to uh, leveling up your persona. I don't know about anything you can do at the CD slash DVD store. It's mostly just used for social link stuff, as in like, it's a place that we go to during social links. Aohige Pharmacy, you can buy medicine and stuff like that. There's uh, Mandragora, which is the karaoke place, which can help increase your courage. Dude, you pass the police station, turn around! Uh, there's a back alley here, which we'll get to in just a second. The police station is where we're going, and we'll explain what that is in just a sec. B Blue V is a place that isn't open. Chagall Cafe is a place that can also help increase social stats and is also a place that we can get a job at, which we'll get to later. And Esca Escapade is a club that we can't get into yet because we're not cool enough. No. This is this is a place that Nadasan was talking about, right? All right, want to go in? Let's go in. Thank you, Kurosawa-san. I'll be taking this. Oh, these are the guys I was talking about earlier. Hmm. This is Officer Kurosawa. He helps keep our squad well-equipped. Oh, and here, this is from Ikutsuki-san. Whoa, is that our warp lens? You shouldn't have. You can't fight empty-handed, so find something you like. Kurosawa-san has connections. He can secure equipment for us. But these things still cost money. Of course they do. Nothing in life is free. I realize that. Well, I'll see you later. Thanks again. I've been informed about you two. My job is to maintain peace in this city regardless of the circumstances. I'm just an ordinary police officer, but it doesn't take a genius to know something strange is going on here. I'm only doing what I think is right. Nothing more. If you need something, we can talk in the back. Alright. Now then, I don't have that much, but you should be able to find what you need. So this is basically our weapons shop where we can buy weapons and armor. Uh, we're not going to buy anything right now. Interesting soon. thing, Officer Kurosawa is voiced by uh, Liam O'Brien, I believe his name is, and he was the original voice for uh, Sonata in the original Persona 3. Uh, I'm pretty sure they brought like pretty much most of the original Persona 3 cast for some side voices, but they've of course recast all of the main cast, but they've recast the original roles because... I'm pretty sure most of the original voice actors are in their 50s, and it'd be weird if they were still, you know, voice acting for, uh, like, 16-year-olds. So they went ahead and gave the spotlight to some new voice actors, which I think is really cool. I think the English voice cast for the remake absolutely nailed it. I know there's some debate over, oh, these voice actors did good at this job, or, oh, these voice actors aren't really fitting. I think all of them absolutely nailed it as their roles. And immediately I was like, okay, this is awesome. Like, Junpei's voice actor is perfect. Makoto, the protagonist voice actor, I think is perfect. I think Sonata's voice actor is perfect. I know that's one that's pretty contended. I think that it's absolutely uh, perfect for the role. Uh, Kurijo, she is really good. Uh, Takeba is really good. I think them, all of them did absolutely fantastically at their role. Anyways, I accidentally talked over Junpei, so... can't believe the police station's selling weapons. What's more? They only gave us 5,000 yen. Ain't that kind of stingy? I mean, kind of saving the world. Oh, crap. It's this late already? I'm gonna miss the rerun of the Lonely Shogun. I gotta go. What about stocking up? Wow, well... 
about that. I'll leave the rest to you, leader. Let's meet up again. You know where. There's a ton of shops and stuff in this place, so you really should check it out while you can. All right, see you back at the dorm. All right, so now we can spend time doing stuff to raise our social stats. Uh, also, we have access to the network. I'm pretty sure this is something that was introduced in Persona 4 Golden, I want to say, where if you press a certain button, it pulls up a list of things that people do, uh, and you can be like, oh, so right now, a lot of people focused on daily life stuff, and nobody really went to Tartarus. So some people studied, studied at the library, some people played at the arcade, some people went back to the dorm, which is a waste of time. Anyways, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to head over to the Port Island Station, and we're going to watch a movie. I forget exactly what it is the movie does at the moment, but we're still going to watch it anyway. The weather is nice today. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I'm not going to go around uh, talking to every NPC, but but if there is any funny dialogue, be sure to let me know in the comments. I was just reminded of something, by the way. Right here, this... There's something in front of the fountain. It's a Twilight Fragment. So this is uh, one way to gain more Twilight Fragments, is by looking around in different places in the overworld and finding them somewhere. There are currently, I want to say like 15 that we can grab right now. Uh, here's another one. I'll go ahead and just show off all of the different locations. So if you're using this as a guide, I'll I'll just you'll be able to see all of the different places. And if you're just watching this for entertainment, I won't be wasting all of your time. I believe there's one. Yep. There's the second one in Gekkokan. There's Gekkokan number three. Gekkokan number four. Gekkokan number five. That's Gekkokan number six. Oh, and here is number seven. All right, so the, those are all the ones in Gekkokan High School. We've gotten all the ones in Port Island Station. There's two at the strip mall. One of them is at the third floor here. You'll see something shining by this garbage can. And then, at the actual station itself, right here. One right by the sign. Ah, right here. Polonia Mall. There's actually one in here that we can't get because we need to go into the club and like I said, we're not cool enough. But you, you, you can also grab one that's right in front of this fountain. That's all the ones that we can grab right now. There's some in the dormitory, but first we want to go ahead and actually spend time doing something, because if we don't, then we're kind of wasting time. Screenshot Movie Theater. So, this one can improve our charm. This movie. You can also work part-time here. It'll improve academics and courage, uh, but we can only do it on our days off. So it'll take up an entire day. Let's just watch a movie instead. Cinematic shots filled with beauty and charm made me appreciate the arts. That point can't hurt you. Go on, take a look. It's not even that sharp. Welcome back. Perfect timing. I'd like to speak to you for a moment. Regarding our exploration of Tartarus, Akihiko is still on the mend, so for now, I'd like to lead- I'd like you to lead the team in combat. You'll never know what a powerful- when a powerful enemy might appear, like the one you faced the other day. It's best to be prepared, or else you may find yourself in a difficult situation. So whenever you'd like to explore Tartarus, just let me know and I'll gather everyone there. So yeah, just ask Mitsuru whenever, and you'll be able to go to Tartarus. Also, since I'm there- I'm sure there are other things you will need to take care of, you'll have permission to go out at night if you need to. Well, that's all for now. Keep up the good work. You'll mostly want to spend your nights, uh, 
You'll mostly, you mostly want to spend your nights raising social stats. Right now I'm going to go to Tartarus again, because we can quickly get through some floors there and I can kind of explain how Tartarus videos are going to go, because there will be entire videos dedicated to just grinding through Tartarus. But somewhere around here there should be... There you are. Fourth floor. So, the final two uh, Twilight Fragments we can get from the Overworld. One of them is on the roof, which we can't access, and the other is in the club, which we also can't access. So we've gotten pretty much every Twilight Fragment we can get for now. I don't know why I walked all the way down the stairs, I could have just teleported there. I'll talk to everyone here, and then we'll head to Tartarus and end off the episode. So what do you have to say, Kutsky? You, you did very well for your first night in Tartarus. So, what did you think of it? Uh, it was a piece of cake. Fantastic. Why, that's absolutely remarkable. Would you like to apply to become the next chairman? By the way... By the way, Officer Kurosawa can't experience the Dark Hour. He's just an ordinary policeman. But he knows what we do. At least in a broad sense. And helps out where he can. Uh, how did you meet him? Well, he helped me out a while ago. Trust me, he's someone you can count on. Hey, you know that thing we use to summon our personas, the Evoker? Well, I was thinking, why does it gotta look like a gun? I mean, you gotta be a little nutty to point a gun at your head and pull the trigger, you know? Hmm. Tartarus just drains me for some reason. You know how the air is thin at the top of a mountain? Kinda feels like that. What about you, Yuki-kun? Ah, uh, yeah, it's tiring. Yeah. Crap, I forgot to do something! Ah, uh, there's something that I should've done when we first got through Tartarus. It's okay, I could do it next time. Next time we finish up a Tartarus expedition. You too, huh? I guess we'll just have to slowly get used to it. What do you have to say, Mitsuru? I uh, just wanted to chat. Right. You may be- you may go out at night, but use the appropriate discretion with this privilege. Mm -hmm. You can also check the status of everyone. Everyone can go tonight. Is there anything else? If anyone is missing because of plot reasons or they're just off doing something somewhere, then she'll be sure to let you know. Anyways, let's go to Tartarus. Very well. Let's meet at Tartarus around midnight. Don't be late. I'll let the others know. As we explore Tartarus, this will be our temporary base of operations. I'm counting on you to take charge during the operation. Alright, tactics. This is actually something interesting that I'll mention in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Oh,